Hello, everybody. Thank you so very much for joining me. It's outstanding to have you. Oh, that guy just tripped in front of me. All right, nice. <laughs> Thank you very much for joining me. It's outstanding to have you. My name is Chris, otherwise known as Wolfie, and we are live once again with Massively Overpowered's OPTV. And surprise, it's a new world again. <laughs> It has been a long time since I've been in this one, I'll tell you. It's been a very long time. <laughs> um, I, Gosh, I literally don't remember the last time I played this game. I mean, I'm sure there's a VOD out there somewhere, but it has been a few months. Um, this game was, admittedly, a big hotness for myself as well as in general. And then it just sort of just kind of went very quiet and, you know... Amazon was just every single update. It seemed like it was just a new problem or multiple new problems or just all sorts of awful things going on. So, uh, yeah, I don't, it definitely seems to have shot itself in the foot a little bit, but you know what? Um, I'm curious as to whether things have improved since then. I it's like I said, it's been a very long time since I played the game. And I would love to see what's new. And one of those new things, given Amazon's game record, the fact that it still exists is a triumph. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're totally not wrong. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's been some time. And and one of the first things I wanted to check out, of course, was the blunderbuss. This uh, this brand new weapon that they added recently. Um. Kind of curious what this is all about, honestly. So, what, what what is this guy all about here? Hang on a second. Oh, wait a second. Traveler's rest. Hang on a minute. I think, is this a new, uh, this, oh, it's a housing guy? Hang on a second. Miserable thieves. Killing me is one thing, but stealing my life's work? Idiot. Idiota. It is my own fault. Foolish Giacomo. Curse my trusting soul. This means no traveler's rest. Uh, what's that? A place of rest for weary travelers, of course. I'm Giacomo Altovini, architect. Perhaps you've heard of me? No? Well, you would have if my workman hadn't stabbed me in the back, literally, and run off with my design notebooks and tools. What's so important about these? So many survivors on this island have no home, no roots. I long to provide that for them. Safety is always the biggest concern. I can create that safety on a much smaller scale. Is that why your workman betrayed you? <laughs> the bastardi left me with nothing, but you're here, so there's hope. The innkeep saw workers a few days ago discussing a notebook of secrets. Suspicious, no? If you begin the hunt, I'll finish business here and follow. Oh, okay. It's furnitures. Okay. That's cool. Yeah, you know what? I, why not? This is as good a place as any to start. Sure. I'm running into a fence. So anyway, yeah, like I said, it's been a very long time since I played this game. And I, uh... I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> I'll be very honest. Uh, so, I, like I said, I figured it's, why not? It seems like it's high time. I do definitely remember running around and stopping to pick up everything. Oh, wolf. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Damage, though. Uh, uh, eat, eat, uh, oh, okay. I forgot a fat roll because I've got heavy armor. There we go. Okay, so... I mean, like I said, I never actually picked up the blunderbuss. This is all brand spanking new to me. So that means, ideally, I'm going to get levels and points in a very short order. Good morning, Katriana. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you so much for stopping in. So as is my want to do whenever I'm doing something in this game, I'm going to kind of turn around a bunch of times and, and you know, collect things and blow up turkeys. There we go. You had to blow up the turkeys. <laughs> it's a requirement. I, as you can see, my tracking and skinning level is really high because I just, I am an absolute monster in terms of the, the natural uh, the nature of this game like wildlife fear me I, <laughs> just, I'm just an absolute I, I totally remember the delight of just steering off course every five seconds to gather things or or hunt 
or hunt things. <laughs> oh man. All right. So yeah, it's so I just wanted to come back to this game because it's been a very long while and I kind of want to remind myself if this is fun. I, I did a, something similar with uh, regards to Elite Dangerous as if you had a uh, tune in on my last broadcast. Search the Trader's Path journal entry. Okay, what do we got here? Too many eyes in the settlement. Too many who might know him. I need time to figure out this gullible fool's notes. If he was right, we'll rule like kings on this island. I'm moving ahead to get everything ready. Wait for a few hours, then follow us to the second camp. I'll leave more instructions for you there. All right. Off to the second camp I go, then. Down payment. I know what you said, but my brain wants to believe you screamed Law of Turkeys. <laughs> Law of Turkeys? What? <laughs> Tannic? <laughs> so... <laughs> Sure, I know that. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that whenever I see a turkey now. You know that, right? Law of Wolf! Oh my goodness, that damage when I ow. That headshot damage though. Oof. Immediately kind of drawn into the amount of numbers that show up on screen. That's kind of engaging. <laughs> Law of turkeys. You must blow them up. Exactly. Precisely right. Yeah. Law of turkeys! There we go. Gotta get that turkey. <laughs> I am hungry for sandwich bird. <laughs> that's the, uh, that's, that's a little nickname that, uh, a few friends in a discord that I'm a part of mentioned called Turkey. They call it sandwich bird because it's totally a sandwich bird, right? I mean, Turkey is delicious just on its own, but it's, it's an amazing sandwich bird. So, so that's kind of in my head. Ooh, is this herbage or no, this is just regular, regular flowers. Okay. Oh, I am in some, some other, oh, oh, ah, all right. Ooh, glowy plant. Several glowy plants. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't watched me stream this game before. Or honestly, any survival game to that point. Um, yeah, I, I have a very hard time keeping on task. I apologize. I forgot what button is the... Sh shift is the... No, sh shift is the... Yeah, shift is the dodge button. Okay. What is this? Scout boots? Eh. I'm gonna keep to try try to keep on task though. I mean, like there's a uh, there's a compass, so I am at least able to find my way back on the path if I divert myself too badly. But you know, but the ooh shiny factor is a major part of games like this. Absolutely, yes, yes, I completely agree, Katriana. But I can also appreciate that you know it can be maybe frustrating to watch somebody who is constantly diverted. Come back here, hey. Ow! Leave me alone, wolf! I'm trying to kill this deer. Leave me alone, wolf! Oh, you are... Alright, mastery level two. Outstanding. Okay, now I get to... Now I get to buy some... Buy some buttons. Right. Okay, I buy a button. All right, I'm kind of leaning towards containment by virtue of the fact that, like, my character is mostly a tanky build. And there's this fortifying aggression thing, right? So more fortify seems like a good idea. There goes the there goes the deer I was hunting. <laughs> Damage boosting. All right, let's... If you line five or more pellets, you restore a stamina point. Interesting. I kind of want to do this. Let's see what that, we'll see what this button is all about. And I, did that, is that, ah, uh, kind of hoping the, um, kind of hoping that, uh, that, uh, <laughs> that deer would still be around. Now, if I recall, I could be wrong. I might be misremembering, but if I recall, I think 
that ammunition is no longer necessary for ranged weapons. So the ammunition now only provides a damage modifier. So it's still useful to have, but it's not a requirement. Bert! So I'm going to test that. Um, see if I got, if, if my brain is working correctly in that regard. Oh yes, I forgot about fishing. Oh my goodness. I totally should do some fishing. Ah, uh, all right. I kind of, I'm sort of reminding myself that this game is actually pretty good. Like, as long as you take it at your own pace, you know? Uh, that seems to be the, the whole, the big point. It's like, I, I think a lot of folks just charged pell-mell into the end game and then got disappointed because there wasn't a lot there. Uh, among other problems, if I'm honest. Depending upon the game, watching someone get constantly distracted can be more entertaining than proper play. Mostly it does not apply to MMOs, but something like Skyrim, I would want to watch someone stick to the story. I would not want to watch stick to someone stick to the story. How boring is that? You know what? Honestly, Skyrim's base story is stupendously boring. <laughs> I, I thought it was the worst part of the game, honestly. Legitimately. I kind of feel the same way with uh, the Elder Scrolls Online, incidentally. The side quests are so much more interesting than the main story, uh, depending upon what main story you do. Like, um, vanilla ESO was, was not very engaging, but the side stories were fun. Um, while the, uh, oblivion starting area and those stories, main story and side stories were very, very good in my opinion, but I've always enjoyed ESO primarily when I get to sort of go off the beaten path and check out the side stories and the other mini quests that pop up. At fool thought he could power of these ancients. I think he was onto something. We just need to step of him, particularly to get the built. Once everyone knows what that can provide safety, flock to us. Gold, Azoth, women, power, everything will be ours for taking. Meet me at the camp near Chasen Steep. We'll divide. Plan our next move. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be tough to you know kind of create breaks in writing to sort of indicate that there's damage. Anyway, I'm going to get this hemp for totally perfectly fine and, and not spurious purposes. I promise I'm totally making rope guys. This is hemp for rope. Why are you looking at me like that? Stop it. Stop judging me. <laughs> yeah. See fibers. See, it's totally for cloth. Hemp is for cloth, guys. That's all this is. It is also not April 20th, so, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Um, actually, the next spot where I need to go is not too far away. So, cool. So, I guess that whomever has been leaving these journals behind has kind of uh, not gotten too far. The True Purple Party? That's an interesting name for the uh, for a guild. Hey, how you doing, Getty? All right, I wanna I wanna fight something a little beefier so I can use this new skill. I wanna see what it's like. Apparently, it I think I read it knocks you backwards when you use it. Yeah. Fire five shots in a horizontal fan in front of you while pushing yourself backwards. Each shot will deal 58% of weapon damage. Every consecutive hit on the same target deals 15% less damage than the previous. So, I mean, obviously the fact that it's a fan shot sort of makes me believe it's not really meant to be a, uh, a single target ability anyway. But, you know, unless things have changed in the past year, New World did not seem to have much side stuff going on. I liked finding all the books and whatnot, but other than that, Exposing, exploring rather, did not seem to yield much new. Yeah, yeah, you're not wrong. Like, it seems to be at odds. It really feels like it's at odds with itself. So the PvE stuff is okay, but not super compelling. The uh, the crafting and gathering stuff really is in, in as was like kind of something that I enjoyed immediately and got hooked into. But it, you also sort of can tell that a lot of that was intended to feed into the overall PVP open world stuff, like kind of crafting things and, and reinforcing towns and outposts and, and making stuff for people to fight each other with. Right. 
I don't know if there's a market anymore. I don't. There wasn't. There never really felt like there was a market to begin with. But then again, that was also because of the really weird decision to have the markets individualized as opposed to global, which is that's that's hella weird. If you ask me. Okay. That's weird. Did that did that shot not kill everybody? Or uh, uh, anyway, hey, how you doing? Oh, that guy just fell over. Wow. All right. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Oh, there's a there's a friend. There we go. Uh, this way. Okay, so yeah, now I'm out of now I'm out of ammunition. But my shots still work, so that's good. All right, cool. Excellent. Oh, gonna get this flint. Yoink. I forgot I have something on my uh my Yeah, I have these pop-ups on my on my um compass, that's the word, English. I have these pop-ups on my compass to tell me where plants and stuff are, and rocks, and 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 hunting things. So, like that, that doesn't help my my easily my easy diversion, right? It's like I'm going to run to this objective. Ooh, something showed up on my compass. I have to get it. <laughs> yeah, as far as side stuff, I don't know. What's I'm the uh i i would love to have seen some more quests added maybe but then again i also have to admit that like none of the lore of this game really kind of drew me in to begin with anyway i like the style and its setting but i really am struggling to care about the story behind it all at least remember anything about the story I never really, I mean, I got to a point where I had to go through that expedition and that was a disaster just because we didn't have enough people and there is no group finder yet. I say yet because they are going to be adding one later. Hi, cat. Oops, did I miss? Goodness. I do like the damage on this thing. This is really nice. G quick, I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Thank you so very much for the follow. Welcome in, my friend. Good to see you. Hello, hello. And thank you so much for that support. Is has nobody Okay. I mean, if you're not gonna skin your beasts, my friends, then I will gleefully do that for you. Happily. I am all about the hunting and the skinning and the tracking, as you can see from my item from that level. <laughs> Alright. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Blow. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, this guy is just crawling and... <laughs> I forgot these guys exist. Am I just not... I am just... There we go. There we go. Okay. I haven't gotten any new blunder... No, I haven't. All right. So I'm still only inching to... It feels like the... Ow. It feels like the level of gaining in this has gotten slower? I've, I seem to remember... I seem to remember, like, uh... I, seem, I just seem to remember getting mastery levels for new weapons moving a little quicker than this. I could be wrong, though. Oh! Uh, oh! Oh! Oh, you're a fast boy. Let me see if I can get reacclimated with my shield here, right? Ow! Hey, hey, hey! hey. Bank. There we go. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. 
I, I, that's another thing I remember. The, uh, the speed of combat is really super deliberate. Like, you could, and I've said this before when I was playing this game another time, like, you could absolutely just smash your way through combat. You could, like, you know, constantly swing your sword like a mad woman or madman and, like, you know, kind of, you know, spam your skills to kingdom come. But you're kind of doing yourself a little bit of a disservice. Like, the, the speed of combat always felt like it had a very specific pace to it. And I was, and I kind of like that. Like, I kind of liked how it's slower, honestly. All right, so I've got Giacomo's no blow. Oh, hi. Hello. I don't think I defeated the traitor. I forgot jump is space bar. Shift is the rolly. I actually don't have a... Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And that's another thing I enjoy. The, the the sound design in this game is extremely good. Like this, like the report of that shot. That's I like that. I I don't know. That's that's one of those that's one of those touches. Like those little bits of quality that let you realize that like you know what they actually were trying to make something really good here. Like they wanted to. Oh, gosh, that echo. That's so good. And I kind of think I'm starting to enjoy my... What is... What are those... What were those glowy bits? Did you see that? Anyway. I am starting to... I'm kind of reminded how much fun this game can be, right? Wow, that Q shot really doesn't feel good. Like, ow. There we go. All right. Oh, hang on. Before I do anything. Ow. Okay. Now I think I can spend some points. Not sure I can hear the game at all. Okay, well, hang on. Let me see if I can turn it up a bit. Let's see if that helps. All right. Increases the range from 12 to 16. I don't really feel the need for that. Let's see. I don't really see the need for stamina. You know what? Let me... I'm curious. Okay, so... So let me go ahead and respec and try to play with grenades here. Let's see if that's how that feels. Alright, let me know if this sounds better. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, whoops. I was trying to... Okay, you know what? I'll take the iron vein. That's fine. I was going to skin the kitty, but I mean, you know, bonking on iron is always a good time. I can hear it now. Okay, great. Awesome. Sorry, I, th I had it turned down a little too low. I apologize. Okay. Now I'll skin the kitty. There we go. Give me kitty. Give me kitty skin. Give me meat. Give me goodies. All right. So I think this is... Oh, there's a turkey up ahead. Would you like a grenade, turkey? Turkey, where are you? Hey, okay. I'm going to... I gotta overkill this turkey. Excuse me a second. Oh, whoop. Oh, whoop. Dang it. There we go. I wanted to fire a grenade on a turkey. You know, quick, ni a nice quick roasting. <laughs> Alright, what is this symbol? Hang on a second. Arcanar Gates. Oh, okay. So that's somewhere I've been already. Alright, got it. The stream team, putting the blunder in Blunderbuss. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're not wrong. All right. That did almost nothing. Ow. 
Ow. It's going to take some getting used to how to arc this grenade correctly. Like, that's going to be a... Uh, talk about blunder and blunderbush, right? Oh, there we go. Hmm. Damage on that is not as much as impressive as I was hoping it would be, actually. Why did... There we go. I, was, I felt like I was aiming at the, the monster, but, like, nothing happened. Ow. Jerk. Uh, the, the, the wild inaccuracy of this whole thing is actually kind of funny. Okay, uh, I mean, it's sort of expected from a blunderbuss though, right? You would think. Ow. Hmm. Not sure I like this spec either. Oh, I can't respect my life. Am I, I'm uh, still in... Whoa, 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 okay. Wow. I'm supposedly still in combat? Okay. There we go. Okay. All right, let me... Actually, no, I don't... I don't really... All right, hang on a second. This... Increases range, more pellets. See, see, it really kind of like goes in on like improving itself an awful lot. Like you have to commit a whole lot of points to it. Yeah, let's let's give that a shot. Why not? I'll I'll, I'll follow the containment path and see how that goes. Hey, Crasher! Thank you so very much for that big, lovely tackle hug. Hello, my friend. Welcome in. Good to see you. Bam. Okay, yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Definitely feels like it's better at middle range for sure. Which is weird because you would think like something... Damn, that did nothing, dude. Yeah. That seems to be like the... That seems to be the point... The, the right point of engagement. About mid-range. Definitely don't want to take this at close range. So then I assume that the fan shot is probably meant to... To like, as a disengage, like... Whoops. Well, that wasn't a good example because I got slapped. But let me see if I can try that again. I'm going to wait for the ability to cool down. But that seems to be a way to keep them at optimal range, right? Yeah. I think that's the move. Also, being good at shooting, just in general. It's weird, because, like, it, like, the animation... Like, you saw the way his arm, like, kind of spread up ahead, but I was aiming downward, so... Anyway. Watching the tracers, it looks like more pellets should be hitting than actually are. Yeah, that's what I thought. It looked like that way to me, too. Okay, so I wasn't just, just losing my mind. Like... These is uh, our guys. Where? You, wait, wait. Where are you going? What? Where? Are you? There we go. Okay. There we go. Ow. Bank. There we go. Okay. Yeah, all right. I like this combination, actually. I like this combination way more than I like the Void Gauntlet, honestly. Like, Void Gauntlet and uh, Sword and Shield was... I don't know, it didn't feel super good. But this combination, like, you know, being able to swap between mid-range and then, like, being able to s shortly afterwards just whip out the shield and sword and, you know, be ready for being overwhelmed. That that's that seems to pair better. Also, this weapon scales with strength. 
yeah, so... Oops, that's not what I meant to do. There we go. That's the button. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so this weapon primarily scales with strength, secondarily with intelligence. So that kind of sort of... Uh, that kind of plays into my current build anyway. So, you know, that's... So, again, I'm starting to feel a little synergy here. I go, wow, whoa. That was way off. I don't know where I was looking just there. Ah, oh, feels good, though. I didn't mean to... I didn't want to pick up the wood. I wanted to skin the kitty. There we go. It's a very good web feeling weapon. I like it. I really, really like it. I kind of would love it to feel like it hurts more. But I, I, I mean, you know, balancing issues, PvP balancing, uh, you know, that nobody's ever happy with the PvP damage. Ever. Never, ever. Never, ever, ever. <laughs> Am I able to fast travel? Hang on a second. Yes, I can just fast travel. Right? Maybe? Oh, I can only fast travel while I'm in a settlement or a shrine. Okay, no, never mind. Hey, Chris, after... I often read Massively OP, the best source for MMO news. Any games you're liking or looking out for? Hey! Hello, my friend. Uh, so... Actually, you know what? I got caught up in the overall Lord of the Rings Online hype. I, um... A lot of people are returning to it because of that uh, that extraordinarily generous free stuff that they're giving out. Like, um, and I I pop back in, and I kind of I'm 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 really digging it. I have to say, something about it this time around feels really, really, really good. Like it, it's. It's it's hitting a note for me that I didn't expect it would. All right, where am I supposed to go? Sorry, I'm kind of diverted here. I'm trying to. There we go. Oh, there's an invasion coming up here. Bones for Archimedes. No, that's not what. I... Oh, there it is. Okay, I had to go over there. All right, all right, all right. Sorry, getting my bearings. Apologies. Anyway, so yeah. Um. So something about this game or that game right now really is 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 hitting a uh, striking a chord with me. Uh, I've kind of put Final Fantasy XIV to the side for a little bit just because I don't really feel super compelled to play that anymore. I've I've beaten the uh, I've gone through the Endwalker expansion and like uh, just kind of putting that on the shelf for a little while. Uh, let's see, still playing a. Uh, a bunch of uh, Dauntless and uh, Monster Hunter Rise. I really should try to focus on Monster Hunter Rise because that Sunbreak expansion is coming in another month or two. Um, so that's something I'm looking forward to for sure. Um, as far as new games coming down the pike, I I don't know. Like, There's nothing that's on the immediate horizon that really, really has me super excited. I'm interested in a lot of games that are coming forward. I actually am... I mean, I'm I'm concerned, but I also hope that Pantheon actually, you know, comes into something <laughs> or becomes something. It's uh still feels too nebulous to me. Uh, it's kind of about the only one that immediately sticks out to mind. He says that, but when six point one hits, no, actually, I have not played six point one. Um, I uh, I played the PvP mode and. Uh, the Easter event and like like when six point one dropped, I uh, I made an adventure plate and then logged off. I didn't bother with anything else. I haven't done any of the other story stuff. So like you know, I've unsubbed to the game for the time being and I'm just it's still installed. Um, but for now, I'm I'm just uh, just pushing that to the side. Oh, another one that's uh, actually really caught my interest is scratching an itch that I didn't know I I had. Um. Star Trek Online. Uh, I'm actually going to be streaming that in a couple of weeks, actually, uh, now that I think on it. But um, that one is another game that is a lot more fun than I expected it to. I remember it being a good time. I've always enjoyed it whenever I return. But 
for some reason now that like playing the game recently has really 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 felt good like just i just adore it I'm, and i've bought a ship or two as well just as a you know i got to support the the free to play games how you can i will never ever 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 never ever ever buy a lockbox key cuz screw lockboxes but i will totally buy a spaceship absolutely is that the VR one? No, no, no. Star Trek Online is just the regular old MMORPG that's made by Cryptic. Um, I would love to stream some VR games. I would love to stream VR MMOs like Zenith, for example. But uh, my computer does not have the grunt. Um, I really, really need to upgrade my system, especially the GPU, if I'm going to, you know, dig into <laughs> the... Uh, VR MMO streaming. And also it requires a whole lot of like equipment and setup. There it's it's a it's a pretty big palaver. Oh hi there. Wow, these boys are fast. Oh how dare Okay. Scared me. STO has really upped their voice acting again in the last Ow! Couple of <laughs> That's what I get for reading the chat, I guess. Sheesh. All right. Ow. How di- Ow. Ow. But yes, no, I agree, Tannik. STO is absolutely up to- Chase Masterson, my gosh. She sounds like she's having the world of fun with that character of hers. Like, seriously. I, um... I haven't done a whole lot of- I, I want to I continue on with that story that I was taking on, but, um... Like, the character she's playing in that game right now? Oh, man. The mirror universe version of uh, of whatever character that she is in in the series that she's part of. Like, like the, that, uh... <laughs> it's very clear she's enjoying herself. What? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Dog. Chase Master doesn't like that in all of her voice work for the game. Play Counterpoint or Assault on Tarok Nor. Oh, thank you for the suggestions. Most of her lines have become memes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, no, it's it's when when a when a voice actor truly has fun with their character, you can tell. You can totally tell. I used to be a hardened Eve player, but I quit two years ago. And looking at what's happening now, I don't regret it. Oh, well, I mean, I'm sorry that Eve kind of let you down that way, but I genuinely hope that you find a new home for yourself, my friend. Surely. Um, that's, uh, it's, I'm kind of, I, I don't know if I'm necessarily in that same place with 14. I'm sort of looking for a new home. Lot row, Lord, Lot row. I, I hate saying the acronym for that. Lord of the Rings Online. A lot row just sounds like I'm really doing a doing a really bad Scooby Doo impression. <laughs> lot row, lot row, Reggie. <laughs> um, but Lord of the Rings just feels like a pretty good new home for now. Uh, and uh, I don't know. We'll see. I'm enjoying the warden, and I love my uh, my uh, my little hobbitess. She's uh, it's 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 so far it's feeling pretty good. Oh, that guy was just standing there and roaring at me while I just blew him into smithereens. I love it. A forsaken spear. I don't want a spear. Yes, let's salvage that. I do not want... There we go. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I, I heard some critters, and I was like, wait a minute. But as far as PvP MMOs go, have you? I know it's I, it's definitely not an apples to apples comparison by any stretch, especially with regards to its setting. But Albion Online feels like that might be a good fit for a former Eve player, and not just because it's a sandbox P MMO or PvP sandbox. I mean that's one of the big reasons, but it also feels like it that would be familiar territory, possibly. I don't know. Also, it's, you know, it's it's pretty good. Even as an extremely soft PvE player. I have to say that, um... Whoa! The time I've been in Albion Online for the Choose My Adventure column has not been bad. 
I usually say... I, I usually say it Lotro, so yeah. Lotro sounds awkward. Yeah, it's I'm probably supposed to say it Lotro, but... Right away with Lotro! <laughs> Sorry. Zoinks! Like, stop saying acronym, Scoob! It's so weird. This the accuracy in this in this weapon is all over the map, dude. It feels like a lot more shot speed landing there, but they weren't. And I and I don't think it's necessarily just because I have bad aim. I mean, that's probably helping, but I don't think that's the only reason. Yeah, all right. That's the move. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. Oh. That's a spooky, spooky boy. Ow. <laughs> He's like, stay still while I fire this extremely slow orb at you. Rah! Oh no, my slow orb. Why didn't it work? <laughs> Damn you, slow orb. <laughs> wow. That shield came out quick, dude. I don't remember whipping out my shield and getting into block stance that quickly before. Also, that felt good. Hey, you see that? A little bit of synergy there, baby. I love it. Tanking the tanking the baddie while this dude the fire staff goes and do, does his thing. I love it. Ow. I tried out Albion a while ago and actually really liked it. A friend of mine even played it very actively. The problem for me is that it got pretty repetitive, but I have to say that it's one of the better games for sandbox PvP. They deserve a lot of credit. Yeah. I kind of feel the same way with regards to the game's repetition. It definitely feels a little more repetitive and kind of like basic in its overall beats. But then, you know, and I'll be writing about it later tonight, actually. Um, but then, you know, it has it has some good stuff going for it. It's, it's not bad. It's a lot more good PvE stuff going for it than I expected, that's for sure. Uh, ow. I wouldn't call it a great place for PvE players, necessarily. But it's got more for it than I expected. And, like, the community feels like, and, and the systems and everything else, it feels, feels good. Ow. Yeah, this thing's accuracy is so weird. Like, okay, that, or maybe it's just a, it's, maybe it's just a result of the numbers stacking on top of one another. Maybe. I eat this food. There we go. I heard that I have a very healthy player base, especially since it's on mobile. Oh, oh my gosh. I, Every place I've been to, even in the opening areas, which usually you feel would be, like, deserted in terms of people being around, like, like one of the opening cities is so full of people. Like, it's, it is way active. There is a lot of players. Like, perceptively, it is a very, very busy game for sure. Even at the places where you'd think that it would be quiet. Wow, there's a lot of animation canceling all of a sudden. Like I'm See, I'm able to can cancel that strike. See? Hang on a second. Let's see. Oh, well. Oh, that uh, and hit. Yeah, wow. All right. That's that's totally new. The animation canceling on this in this game has gotten significantly improved. Like most of the time when you were swinging your weapon, you were in animation lock. Like that was kind of it. But like I was able to like swing and dodge. Swing dodge. 
Or like even like swing animation. The ability is still locked. You can't like it doesn't look like you can dodge out of abilities. Let's see. Yeah, no, abilities still lock you in. But like you can you can swing, you can cancel a swing and dodge. That's that's pretty cool. Or cancel a swing into a block. Like the animation can be stopped. Neat. Okay. All right. Okay. That's that adds a little that adds a new level to the dynamism of combat actually cuz as a lot of the times when you were swinging or using your skills and your weapons like you were just that was it. This animations were your attack came out and and to heck with you if anything happened. <laughs> Had to kill the bunny. Is this the Oh yes, these are the corrupted rabbits. Yes. There's an event going on for with corrupted rabbits. Oops, I forgot. I keep on hitting I like that's the inventory button. There we go. Use this to increase luck by 2.5% for 40 minutes, but at what cost? The effect replaces any luck effects we contain by other consumables. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Why not? Uh, uh, no, I didn't want it. I wanted to use it. Can I use the thing, please? There we go. Okay, so now I have a little more luck. Animation locks on skills can be very annoying. I think I remember the hammer in New World having that issue quite a bit. Yes. Yes, I agree. I had to be really sure before starting a big swing. Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of animation locking that you can worry about when using a blunderbuss. I mean, you're pulling a trigger and blasting a fool, you know. You have to like, man, it's it's super. The the aim of this thing is feels so weird. It feels so weird. I, I'm I'm like oscillating between enjoying this blunderbuss weapon and being f weirded out by it. Like its behavior is super inconsistent feeling. So I learned something with the new Lego Star Wars game. It's fully voice acted and it's so damn beautiful. Yes, yes, the voice acting is pretty good. I have to admit, like the um, I I, I kind of wonder what some of the voice actors feel like having to re to say the lines that were so very often derided in the like in the films, like the like the episodes one, two, and three, for example. It's like obviously they didn't get Hayden Christensen, and obviously they didn't get um any of the original actors, but like they also got I think most of the actors in that game are from the Clone Wars series and they are extremely good. So like hearing the guy who plays Anakin saying that, uh, you know, saying the lines from episode three, like that was, it was very, very interesting. It was very good. So I would love to, I would love some time to, I wonder about their thoughts on how they felt about re-recording those things. Like whether they felt like they had a leg up or if they had, it was a tall bar to clear or a low bar to clear. If, you know, if there was something different about how it was handled versus the film or if they knew anything like that. I, I, I'm i just, I'm really super curious about it. But yes, the voice acting in the game is very good. And some of the sound alikes they got for, for some of the classic characters, like the person who voices uh, Princess Leia um kind of scary how much she sounds like Carrie Fisher like it's it's legitimately alarming so yeah no i agree the voice acting in that game is very very good oh hi see i would love to be able to use a shield and a blunderbuss but then that would be ow See, she can do it. Why can't I win? I have to break the shield. There we go. I remember. I remember doing that. Yes, you have to do charge attacks in order to 
break blocks. Nice. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> oh, oh, that guy really didn't like me killing that turkey, I guess. Okay, back to the back to the turkey skinning. I am I where the hell am I? <laughs> I just realized I'm not anywhere. I mean, I'm kind of close to where I need to be, but I also just I sort of walked in this direction and now I'm here. <laughs> it's like it's like I just woke up. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> where am I? <laughs> This isn't my beautiful house. Hey, thanks, buddy. Oh, that guy's just... Okay, he's just being chased. All right, that's... <laughs> yeah, let me go and help him out. Why not? That guy's got a very glowy sword. Is that the... That's not a... No, that's not the Void Gauntlet, is it? That was just a regular sword. We in Sea of Thieves now, right? <laughs> Blow. Blow. You just don't care, do you? Okay. Whoops. Boink. Uh. Ow. There we go. All right. <laughs> no corgi, so it can't be. No, yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, there is an abject lack of corgi in this game, so definitely isn't Sea of Thieves. Also, the fact that there is no corgi makes this the worst game ever. <laughs> hey, how's your boat working? Why is that so... It's mad inconsistent. It's so inconsistent and weird. Also, why am I... Oh, oh, I think my damage is lowered because of that rabbit's foot? Yeah, I think that's what's going on here. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I think I've been cursed. That's probably what's going on, right? Yeah, 22 minutes of good luck. And what is this? No? Eh, well, anyway. Okay, uh, can I swim? I forget how much... Oh, and this is just shallow water. Okay, never mind. <laughs> thought this water was deeper than, than it looked. Huh. Oh, you know what? I am going to an entirely different location, but that's fine. You know what? This is a secondary objective. Collect ammunition pouch. Whoops. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Ow, ow. Yeah, I got some flint. Okay. Alright, I need to beef up this whole thing. Four additional pellets. Okay. I'm still in combat. Why? There. Stop it. I'm not in combat. Go away. <laughs> so it seems to be all about right now, my point spend is mostly about improving this Azoth shrapnel shot. Oh, that, uh, okay, now it, now it has some impact, right? There we go. Okay, all right, okay, okay. Now all of a sudden this button has like a purpose, or it feels like it has a purpose, right? Bam. Whoops, wrong button. That's the one I wanted to hit. Stop ah. Stop blocking. 
Whoops. There we go. Okay, all right. Also, I kind of understand or appreciate that, like, I kind of should have ammunition in my pouch now. I can still use this weapon, but I bet it's probably better if I had ammo. Whoa, that's a big gator. Holy crap. That's a big boy. Look at this boy. That's a huge, that's a huge sucker. Ow. That was the wrong button. Okay, never mind. He's dead. Can I skin this boy? Yes, I can. Susanna! Oh my gosh! Its name is Susanna! <laughs> wow! Woo! That was a whole lot of gator. Like, so much gator. Wow. Contemplate your earthly belongings while being attacked by a croc! Yes, exactly! Oh, I don't have the... Dang. I don't have the, uh, wee, wee. Ooh, but I can pick this boy. I can pluck this plant. This weird splooshy plant, the river cress. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's colloquially referred to as the weird splooshy plant. Trust me on this. Also, as is usual, my pack is starting to get very full. Um, yikes. <laughs> Damn my encumbrance. Weird sploosh plant. Okay, yes, exactly. Precisely. Target! What? I, okay, y'all saw that, right? I was aiming at the thing and it missed every single shot missed. What? What? How, how did... This turkey, this turkey is a cheater. It's a hacker. Turkey got hacks. Okay, I'm, I'm so diverted. Uh, all right. I think I'm supposed to be in here in order to get the ammunition packs. Yes. Yes, this looks like a place where I'm supposed to be in. Yes. I see shinies. Hey, there we go. Ow, what? Who shot me? <laughs> what? Oh, up there. Hi! <laughs> My reaction times are not very good. <laughs> All right, I tend to switch out. That was not the button I wanted to hit. What is wrong with me? Stop blocking. How dare you use the move that I use? <laughs> All right. Okay, here, uh, here we go. Uh, uh, hi. What? I... See, he's missing too. This is weird. There we go. Strong regeneration person. Nice. All right. <coughs> Ow. I don't know what you were trying to do, but stop it. There we go. Oh, that's a boss. Oh, no. I should probably... Yeah. I should probably shield up here. Boink. 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 Oh, there we go. Ow. Left myself open to a hurt. This dude is swinging a heckin... What? Oh, come on. How did that miss? I was like, oh, whatever. Hey, knock it off. What? 
Boink. Ja, oh. There we go. Oh my god, this place is... There's a... That was a lot of enemies. <laughs> okay. And they're respawning almost immediately. Holy goodness. All right. I should probably get out of here, actually. Hey, how you doing? Ow. Whoops, that was way off. Whoop. <laughs> I'm playing this like it's a cover shooter. What is wrong with me? <laughs> There we go. All right. Okay. What? Oh, I'll regen potion. No, oh, that's that's fine. Yeah. Let's get out of here. All right. I need to find some safety. Right after I kill this person. Oh. Nice. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. Hello. 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 Hi. Would you like some, would you like some pellets? Oh, my aim is awful, dude. This is the, <laughs> this is like the worst gunfight. <laughs> it's like that scene from like, a. Uh, from like the naked gun or, or the police squad movies where like the, <laughs> <laughs> like Drebin and like the person he's fighting are like inches away from one another, but they're using cover. <laughs> All right, before I go, I gotta explode this powder keg. Oh, that was wow! That was that was really disappointing. <laughs> Damn, really? No explosion, no big fireball, just. Just literally like a, like a gentle, sad cough of, of sparks. That is depressing. Oh, hello. Hi. Don't mind me. <laughs> I am, I'm holding down the right trigger as if I'm going to block with my blunderbuss. A right trigger, right button, right mouse button. Ow. There we go. Okay. All right. Let's. All right. Back to point. I'm. I'm gonna. I need to get out of here. Uh. 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 <laughs> I'm not lost. You are. <laughs> no, I'm totally lost. Let's get out of here. Let's. Let's. Let's cross the water and get to something resembling sort of safety. You'd think a big barrel of powder would make a way bigger bang than that. Yeah, right? Seriously. I'm so glad I'm not alone in thinking that way. Like, that was just very, very depressing. Okay. Right, I think I'm gonna get out of the water and then call that a wrap, because I have to get back to my second job. You know what? This is actually pretty fun. The blunderbuss weapon is weird and inconsistent, but it's enjoyable. Like, it's, it's an enjoyable little weapon. I kind of want to examine it a little more and see where it goes. But anyway, that's going to be a wrap for today's stream. Thank you so very much to everybody for joining me for today. We have a whole heckin' lot of streaming coming up for the next three days, as you can see by the schedule. It's double schedules every single day, uh, starting on Monday the 25th at 3 p.m. Eastern. MJ is going to be live with some... <laughs> Sorry. Followed by some Elder Scrolls Online at 8 p.m. Eastern, Tuesday the 26th. Uh, MJ is going to be doing some Allods Online. That's not a game that I'm expecting her to do, but like seriously, it feels like Tuesday is her Try It Tuesday days. Uh, so she's doing that at 3 o'clock Eastern and then back at 8 p.m. Eastern that same day with some Guild Wars 2. Then Wednesday, April 27th, myself and my very good friend are going to be live with a little bit of Tower Unite 
at 2 p.m. Eastern. If you've never seen that game, it's a very fun, cute little cool game. I hope you'll join us for that. And then provisionally, I'm going to say provisionally because I don't know that everybody's lined up their schedules quite yet. There's a whole lot of herding kittens, but hopefully, fingers crossed, provisionally 8 p.m. Eastern, the MOP crew or members of the MOB, MOP team, including myself and MJ, will be live at 8 p.m. with some City of Heroes. I hope you'll join us for all of that, and thank you for joining me for today's stream, and thank you for everything you do to keep Massively OP running, whether you are watching live or on demand, whether you're reading what we write on the website, or if you're doing something incredibly generous like whitelisting the ads on the website, donating to the channel, subscribing to the channel, or if you're one of our amazing Patreon donors, no matter what you do top to bottom, you are the fuel that keeps Massively OP running. Thank you so very much for all of your support and all of your love. And yes, to answer your question, Toaster, we are going to be streaming COX again, hopefully. We will see. Uh, but we'll keep you up to date. Keep an eye on the schedule um, and the calendar, both here on the Twitch channel and on the website at MassivelyOP.com under the streaming section. All the updates for our streaming schedule will be posted there. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye!